Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Frost on here, bringing you guys a live updated, not a live, Jesus, a recorded video updated um, on the go-to class I'm rocking, bro, and I really do think this is the best class in Warzone right now. You know, everybody's telling me M4, everybody's telling me M13, which I do believe the M13 might be the worst gun in Warzone. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I will never use it. Absolutely not. But, guys, in my opinion, this is the best go-to class right now, especially after um the rpg nerf um so we got the the growl and on my previous class i used to always rock this setup with the growl but i took off the tack laser and i put the vlk 3.0 optic on the reason why i did this is because i excel i excel in uh medium to long range fights and i was like okay man like let me put a scope on it let me put a sight on it so i can you know maximize my damage maximize my my um my hits that i'm putting on on the on the enemy so um I really did took off, I took off the tack laser and I put the the optic VLK 3.0 optic and man it's been like I won't say it's been night and day difference but I, I I am playing my most consistent war zone in my best war zone right now and so we got the monolithic suppressor tempest 26.9 archangel um, barrel still the VLK 3.0 optic command of foregrip and 60 round mag so that is that is what I rock on that. But now, since we're rocking the VLK um, optic, you know, a sight, you know, that it's gonna struggle close ranges. So we have overkill MP5. Oops, shit. Overkill MP5. Now this, guys, this MP5 build is a hip fire build. Okay, it's insane. It is crazy. You can legit hip fire pretty damn far, man. Like no bullshit. You can you, you can hit far so far. So we got the monolithic integral, monolithic integral barrel suppressor, guys. The barrel suppressor, not the not the monolithic suppressor, because that helps the damage at range. The monolithic integral suppressor. Now this is for close range inside buildings, close, close, close quarters. Okay, five MW laser helps with a hit fire. Merc foregrip helps with hit fire. Forty five round mag. I like that over the thirty personally. And the F tech collapsible stock. Now this stock definitely will help with um if you do need to ads and a little bit more movement speed as well so you don't really need the aiming stability recoil control if you're aiming from the hip or if you're super 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 close quarters so um i use this just for that extra little eds if you don't want this man a lot of people um put sleight of hand on instead of the f tac collapsible stock so guys insane man i'm telling you bro this this build this this dual build is Hands down, I think might be the best setup in Warzone right now that I've seen personally. I use EOD. You can rock double time if you want, but I think there's still people with C4s, nades. You know, there's always going to be that extra lethal. Um, now, when the second loadout comes, I always grab restock. I do not use ghost. I use restock. You get an extra stun and an extra nade every 50 seconds, man. Every 50 seconds or C4 or whatever. And amped, that's, I mean, amped, you should always have amped regardless. So, guys, I'm telling you, man, this is the build right here, bros. This is the build. I think probably, I'm not just sugarcoating it. I do believe it's the best build in Warzone right now, okay? So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's different variations. And let me know if you guys, um, in the comments, let me know what your favorite build or your go-to build is. I'm really, really curious to see what's up. And I might, um, I might rock with some of those builds, too, and really really check it out so guys appreciate us checking out the video if you guys haven't guys please 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 make sure you drop a like on the video if you're not subscribed guys please 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 do that all right guys take it easy guys we'll see you guys in the next one much love yeah.